Hi ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Inky, your skin doctor and welcome to the Skin Fix head-to-head -head comparisons whereby we'll bring you all the latest products, all your favourite products and we'll compare them head-to-head -to, -head to see how well they do. So today, we are doing Biore UV sunscreens. Now, these sunscreens are available in majority of your nearest drugstores. Biore, it's one of the leading brands for sunscreen and for skincare in general. They, they have been in the market for many, many years. Wow. They hail from Japan. However, day in and day out, our patients and our customers and our Skin Fix users would ask us, can I use Biore sunscreens? And if I can, which ones? Alright, so the first sunscreen that we will have a look at and compare is the Biore UV Protect Perfect Protect Milk Moisture SPF 50 with PA3+. So first impression, I like the bottle. It's nice, it's yellow, it's bright. You know, it shows you that it's for sunscreen. Yeah? It's a sunscreen. It's small, it's nice and handy. It's small, it's only 25 ml. So majority of the sunscreens are generally 50 ml in size. This is half the size. Perfect if you're always on the go, put it in your bag. First of all, smell. Okay, it smells all right. It means they've added some sort of perfume inside. So I would say smell, it's average. It's not too, it's not too, uh, it's not too pungent, like, neither is it too nice smelling. Texture, it's a little bit greasy and oily. So it means that it is not good for people with acne prone skin, neither is it good for people with uh, combination skin. It's more suited for people with white, um, normal to dry skin type. The white cast, it's not overpowering. It is there, but if you do spread it around, it tends to disappear. So white cast, it's pretty minimal. Uh, and white cast is important because these are actually physical sunscreens. So the ingredients are water, zeloxane, alcohol, and zinc oxide. Hence, that's why the white casting comes up because zinc oxide is pretty high up in the ingredient list. In terms of texture, I would say I would give it probably a 3 out of 5. In terms of smell, I would say roughly a 2 out of 5. Price-wise, it's not too expensive. However, it's only a 25 ml miss. It's only half. It's about 3 out of 5 because it's roughly about um, selling price in Malaysia is about 18 ringgit. And uh, of course, overall effectiveness, it's only 3 out of 5 because it's only PA3 plus instead of PA4 plus. Round it up to 3 stars. So 3 stars out of 5 for the sunscreen. Alright, so the next one we go to is Twin Brother. This one. So if you have a look at the, at the, at the packaging, it's actually, it looks the same except for a small difference. This is cool. So this is the Biore UV per Perfect Protect Milk Cool. This is the earlier one. We saw the moisture. Now this is the cool. So in terms of packaging, it's the same as exactly the same as the moisture one. Smell wise, smells exactly almost the same. Yeah, it actually smells the same. It actually smells slightly better because what they what they've done, they've actually, actually added menthol inside. Texture wise, again, still mildly greasy, not too bad, not as bad as the moisture. Moisture is slightly more greasier. The cool one is actually less greasier. Um, white cast, again, there is white cast because the uh, the ingredients, again, are water, uh, cyclopentaziloxane, uh, zinc oxide, and as well as alcohol. Now, this is a PA3 plus as well, com uh, same with the moisture. Now, if you ask me, this would be slightly more slightly nicer feel on the skin is slightly less greasy when compared to the moisture so this is slightly less greasy but it's still slightly greasy i will again recommend it for someone with dry to normal skin I'm not going to highly recommend it to people with combination or oily skin it might cause more breakouts so for this i will give it for the texture i will give it three stars out of five for the smell 
two stars out of five. Even though it has a little bit of menthol smell and feel on the skin, I still feel that the smell isn't that great. For the price, it's not bad. Again, it's only 18 ringgit, just like the it's twin brother, the moisture. It's so it's three stars out of five. And as well as the effectiveness, I'll probably give it three stars out of five because it's only PA3 plus. So overall, I round it up to three stars. So it's three stars out of five for the Biore UV Protect Perfect Protect Milk SPF 50. Next up, Biore UV Perfect Milk SPF 50. Now this one is PA4 plus. First impression, not great. Um, the previous ones that we saw has this ni nice bright yellow. This one, labeling, packaging, it's not great. It, it, it does what it says. It just tells you uh, what, is it, what is the SPF rating and uh, how many PA plus. Just tells you the name. But in terms of packaging, again, it's not great. However, it's small. It's roughly only about 25 ml. Good for people carrying around, especially in their pockets or in their purse. When you shake it, there is a very mild ball bearing inside. It's to prevent, I have a feeling it's to actually to prevent the sunscreen from coagulating. So let's have a look. In terms of smell, oh, this, is, this, one, this one smells bad. All right? In terms of smell, it smells bad. Uh, smells very strong alcohol smell right? compared to the previous Biore UV. This one has a stronger alcoholic smell. In terms of smell, it's really strong. It has a lot of alcohol smell. So if you look at the ingredients, the first ingredient is cyclopentaxiloxane. It makes it easier to spread. Next one is water. And the third one on the list is actually alcohol. So alcohol is quite high up on the list, hence, hence the smell. Now let's test out the texture. It, now it's really, really liquid, all right? If you do like this, it actually leaks down the, the, the hand. It's really liquid. Yeah, it has more white cast than the previous ones. So the white casting is actually quite high. Which goes to show that it has a lot of zinc oxide, very good for sun protection. Now, how, however, texture-wise, it's really greasy. So if you have dry skin, if you have normal skin, this is for you. If you have combination skin, acne skin, you have to avoid this particular sunscreen. It's going to cause a lot of breakouts for acne-prone skin because of the grease factor. Now the grease factor is important in some cases where, whereby you want to apply it maybe on the neck or on the body. But on the face, if it's too greasy, it would trigger more acne to appear. Let's rate it. In terms of texture, I'm going to only give it 2 out of 5. Uh, I don't like all this greasy feeling, especially after you have applied your sunscreen and maybe you want to apply something else on your skin. Now everything is greasy and when you touch your bottles, now there's grease everywhere. Especially, you know, a lot of us, we will play with our handphones now, there's grease smudge on your handphones. In terms of smell, it's, I will probably give it only a 1 out of 5. In terms of pricing, I will give it a 3 out of 5, it's only 27 ringgit for this bottle. Now, in terms of effectiveness, because it's PA4+, I'm going to give it 4 out of 5. So, that gives us an average of only 2.5 stars. Now, I'm not going to recommend this for a lot of people, because I really don't like the grease factor. Next one on the list, the Biore UV Watery Essence SPF 50 PA4+. Now, on first impression, this has a very nice glossy feel. It feels expensive, even though the price is actually quite affordable. It's only 45 ringgit for this. So this is a larger packaging compared to the other Biore sunscreens. This one has a volume of 50 ml, twice the amount of the other sunscreens. Now, first impression, Great packaging. Um, it feels pretty heavy because it's 50 ml. Now, on top of that, let's test it. Now, it smells good. All right, it smells good. I would probably give it a rating of two to three out of five right, for, for smell. It's not as greasy as before. So if you see, if you squeeze it out, right, it's actually, it actually remains as a, as a block on my hand. And when we apply it, it has a very cooling sensation and it spreads easily even though it's non-greasy, and it's not greasy, it's actually water-based. Now, however, if you see, sometimes when it's too much water-based, it has a issue with spreading it thinly. So it's, however, it is water-based, means that it has a built-in moisturizer. Now, this sunscreen, I would recommend it for someone with combination, normal skin, and even acne-prone skin. I think this one would 
suit a lot of people with acne prone skin. It doesn't clog up the pores due to its water content and after applying, it doesn't feel greasy. Now, it feels a little bit watery, but it doesn't feel greasy. You might need a little bit more time to spread it on your skin because it doesn't spread as nicely. So the main contents are water, alcohol, ethyl hexyl methoxycinamate. Now, ethyl, the third ingredient is actually the chemical portion of the sunscreen. So hence, the physical portion is much lower down the ingredient list. Hence, you don't really get the white casting, which I like. All right? almost, almost zero white cast when I actually apply on my skin. So let's start rating this particular sunscreen. Texture-wise, I like it. It's not greasy. It's uh, water-based. I'll give it four stars out of five. Smell-wise, not great. Two stars out of five. Price-wise, it's only 45 ringgit for a 50 ml. I would say it's average priced. I would say give it a three star out of five. And the overall effectiveness, this is good because it's uh, PA4+. Plus. I will give it four stars out of five. So on average, if we, if we take the average rating, it's three stars out of five. So next one, next up, we have the UV face milk. Now this is an SPF 50 PA4+. Plus. Packaging wise, it's nice and clean. Nothing much, nothing wild to actually uh, talk about it. However, however, it's again, it's 25 ml. It's small enough to keep in your pockets, in the back of your pockets, in your bags and all. Now, let's have a look at its texture and its smell. Smell wise, or oh, smell wise, this is horrible. <laughs> smell wise, it smells really strong. Alcohol pungent smell. So uh, highly likely it's due to its high content of alcohol. So smell wise, not great. Now texture wise, texture wise is really liquid. Now as you, as you see, it, it's flowing down my, my hands. Now let's have a look whether it's greasy or not. Yeah, texture wise, it's still a little bit greasy because it's a face milk. So it has quite a lot of white casting. And as you spread it, of course, the white cast slowly then disappears. However, the after feel of the face milk it's slightly mildly greasy. So hence, you will tend to smudge everywhere when you, uh, when you touch things. So the main ingredients are cyclopentasiloxane, allows it to spread easy, uh, easily. There's water, there's alcohol, and there's zinc oxide. Hence the amount of white casting that appears on the sunscreen. And this sunscreen is good for, again, normal to dry skin not recommended for combination neither is it recommended for acne prone skin you're going to have more breakouts if you use them however you have normal skin you have dry skin you can use it no problem however if you have sensitive skin you might want to avoid due to the strong alcohol smell all right so let's rate it in terms of texture i would give it a three out of five all right it's easily spread um however i don't like the smell so for smell i'm going to give it zero out of five uh, for price wise i will give it three out of five uh it's about 32 ringgit for for this this is a uh, 25 ml or is it 30 ml sorry this is th uh, 30 ml so it's 32 ringgit price wise it's okay now for effectiveness because it's pa4 plus i'm gonna give it four out of five so on average that gives us an average of only two and a half stars so there we have it so which one do i recommend well I highly prefer this one, even though it's a little bit larger. However, the grease factor is almost minimal. The white cast is not there. And on top of that, it has a very good moisturizing content. It's good for combination skin, oily skin, and even normal skin type. Even dry skin you can actually use. So it's great for almost all skin types. So I'm gonna highly recommend the Biore UV Watery Essence SPF 50 PA4+. That's the end of our video. So let us know in the comments what you actually thought of us and what you actually think of all these products, especially the UV Bure. Remember to share this video and subscribe, turn on the notification button because we have more exciting videos coming up next time. This is it from me, Dr. Inky from Skin Fix. Remember to always stay safe, stay healthy, and always remember to stay informed. Hi guys, just a quick disclaimer. This is a personal view of mine on uh, UV Biore sunscreens. Again, this is not a sponsored content. We bought all this ourselves. So uh, please comment below if you have anything else to add.